Project Watch. This is LP. Now, so I'm going to be talking about a story coming out of St. James. Of course, you should know by now, last year, 2022, St. James right, was the division with the highest amount of murders in Ironman. 198 aborted homicides. Just under 200. Now we are here about the first right, recorded murder in St. James for 2023. A man by the name of Sean Patterson was killed while staying at a guest house right, and after being shot multiple times, he succumbed to his injuries. Now, you know this sound like already. Tourists? But 87 is not random to target stories. Well, there's more to the eye with this story. Anyway, within less than a day, the suspect has been taken into custody. It was actually easy for them to catch him. And you have got your wife soon. A search of the man name, that is the victim, Sean Patterson, shows that the British media is going gaga over this story. The headlines make it sound like, you know, a tourist, drop an Iron Man, just walking through the streets of Mobile. Here come to 87, gun him down, and I hate that. But tell them, so when you see them story, it's never all there is to it. Something in a something. But the British media don't care about context. Most foreign media don't care about context. It's like enough time in the air, say, a member of the rainbow community gets killed. There's hardly any time in the context. Right? He was killed purely for the fact say he was a member of the rainbow community. It's not because he was involved in badness himself or a man kill him or some love of fear gone bad. It's never that. Right, it's just a straightforward, right? They must kill him because he's a part of the rainbow community. They have no interest in context. So, here we are going. And this is from the local media sources, right? We are trying to build the case for you, Aguan. Get some picture of the victim and everything there so we can understand how Aguan. But for now, we are going to talk about the local media, say, and what them get from for them sources. The victim entered Ironman on the 29th of December. Celebrated New Year's in Ironman. Here's where things got interesting. One of the close friends of the victim contact the star and tell him, say, right, the victim went to an event on the north coast with a quote-unquote friend right, and then they met with the suspect the three of them then left the north coast and went back to Moby. Let me say that one more time. Right. Because by now, when you're supposed to say this is not just some random foreigner getting gunned down by 87. Right. If you're 87, right, don't just randomly go around and target tourists. Right. I'm not saying it's never ever happened and it never ever will, but it's as rare right, as finding one diamond in the back of your yard. The victim went to an event on the North Coast with a friend. They then met with the suspect, the deportee, because the report said that the suspect was deported from the UK in 2013. All right, so they met with the deportee, right, who's now the main suspect, and the three of them left the North Coast and went back to the mobile. So I already show you say the suspect and the victim were familiar with each other. Familiar who? Well, who knows? Right, let me say what we get some more information on this. Now as previously mentioned, the suspect was deported from the UK in 2013. And the victim is from the UK. So this is what you call a British link. Right? The British headlines right, don't mention any of this. I just mentioned, say, you know, a British uh, personal trainer right, visiting Ironman gets murdered and then kind of left it at this one. But we start to see what this has shaped up. This man was not just walking around, right, and then gunning down. This is much more complicated than that. And hopefully, we'll get to hear some more details. Now, I don't know if Sean Patterson 
was a Jamaican who is also a British citizen or you know British born and raised and you know because enough time I hear say foreigner gets killed in Ireland and it's like a Jamaican somebody was born in Jamaica but them got foreign get them papers and then they know officially American or officially British or legally American legally British legally Canadian and if something happened to them it says Canadian tourists get killed so as I say not much detail has been put out by the media but right, I'm waiting to hear if Sean Patterson was Jamaican born then could become British and the reason why that would matter is because many Jamaicans who go abroad right, and become British or become American when they touch back to Ireland man, right, even though something happened to them and people say you know American get killed British get killed as far as the 87 is concerned, they are killing a Jamaican. Even though the person has a British passport, even though the person has an American passport, right? if they are born and raised an Iron Man, Russian people didn't know them before they left. When the 87 has killed them, they are not thinking to themselves, I am killing a British, I am killing an American. They are looking at it as they are killing another Jamaican. Right? The fact that they have a passport from another country, right, don't really change much in the eyes of an 87. So, this story, as you can imagine, is bad PR, but it only covers the surface. British stories killed in Jamaica, but then they sum it up in the most easily digestible manner that uh, they possibly could. Right? But it's more to it than that. But whatever they find me, later, here's what the local Irish trolls need to do. Tell the BBC, the Mirror, Daily Mail, all of them, to talk about the good things then. Tell them if you don't talk about Sean Patterson, talk about the good things then. Talk about the jerk chicken, talk about the beer, talk about the beach. Tell them that no. They won't tell them that. Just like when their foreign daddy you ask him, did a feature on Iron Man showing guns and all kind of things, gun a bad man place. Who remember that? Remember the Ross Kemp and Gangs series? When him drop a Iron Man, gun a bad man place, man a show off rifle, man a show off K. When I show off the broom, the map stick. Yeah. Remember that? The one time Jimmy can't hear his rust camp and tell him to talk about the good things. Eh? You don't remember that because it never happened. Then can't tell him foreign daddy that. Eh? But that fact enough Jimmy can't enjoy that content. Like, oh, that was so cool. Look at rust camp in a bad man place. Look at the rifle them. Eh? Look on the killy kill them. Eh? Look on the thugs them. Eh? Oh, this is great content, bro. This is great content. It's so educational. I love the fact that Ross Kemp shows me about gangs in Jamaica, even though I'm a Jamaican. You know, I like the fact that he, he's educating me on gangs. That's what them say when them see them foreign daddy in a bad man place. When them see them foreign daddy and a show rifle and all kind of things. The mean dark streets. Right, them say, oh, this is great content. Because they have so much reverence for their foreign daddy. So, I want to do an update this story when i met this video right the news was pretty fresh so don't know when i get free but i know certain things here but want to know who sean Patterson is is he a jamaican who become british afterwards or is he born and raised british right i want to know about this and the suspect was deported 2013 i want to know what could possibly lead to this because it's an interesting story to say the least for the video end, I want to talk about St. James again because I'm telling already right, that parish whole different world. JCF data shows uh, 6 guns are found in 24 hours. 6 guns in a day. 4 of them from St. James. 6 guns in 24 hours, 4 from St. James. St. James coming like a track star will just make up their minds to them now lose no race. But all of the race them are civic. St. James won't come first for murders. St. James come first for fatal accidents. St. James will come first for illegal guns. Remember, the population of St. James don't even reach 200,000. St. Catherine is much bigger. St. Andrew is much bigger in population. But as St. James said, we're little, 
But we are silly can't tell her. 4 out of the 6 going to the million fan. And come from St. James in the first 24 hours. So the year started off with some shaky PR. But let's keep a close eye on the actual data. Because the first 7 days, first 14 days, we want to see what I want. Especially at the place that are traditionally hot spots. That's what I mean work with you now. I don't work with nice. I don't work with hype. Right? I don't work with unicorn meat. I'm waiting for the data. I want to see what I want. Right? Because how we start off the year will have a major impact on our ending. Because even St. James, remember, St. James it quickly rushed the like 150 murders right? and then things slowed down towards the end of the year. And hit 190, but it quickly get up to 150. Early part of the year, that's when JC, JD, the authority, but really, if you clamp down on certain things, if they grip on certain things. But, my Christopher Guana, as I said, get an update on this, we give it to him. Patreon squad, big up on the cell. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, more life. Vulture squad, stay circling. Bless.